67% of new jobs are in computer science, but only 11% of students are graduating with a computer science degree. Women, people of color, and people living with disabilities remain underrepresented in STEM professions. CGI created STEM at CGI, a nationwide K-12 program that addresses the urgent need to train and mentor young people for STEM careers in communities that are underrepresented in STEM fields. STEM at CGI programs and courses are taught by CGI professionals. To date, 750 CGI employees have taught or led CGI STEM camps across the nation. This year, the program evolved to include the virtual STEM at CGI at Home program to accommodate virtual classroom environments and offer fun STEM-based activities for children during the pandemic. Since the program began four years ago, CGI has hosted 136 events nationwide, 66% of which reach primarily Black or Latinx students, students with disabilities, and female students. The program has reached 12,500 students in over 35 U.S. communities. Panasonic North America partnered with the Skyhook Foundation in collaboration with the Los Angeles Office of Outdoor Environmental Education to fund Camp Skyhook's EcoVans Initiative, a mobile alternative to immersive and outdoor STEM learning opportunities for students during the COVID-19 pandemic. The initiative began in 2019 as a week-long year-round STEM camp. The mobilization of the EcoVans has allowed the program to reach students throughout Los Angeles during the pandemic. The vans transport exhibits that include materials from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, LA Maritime Institute, the UCLA Science Project, and more. Panasonic's social impact strategy is focused on increasing diversity in the pipeline into STEM careers and closing the access and opportunity gap to alleviate educational inequities. 80% of the students enrolled in Camp Skyhook learned English as a second language, and over 70% have limited or no experiences in natural environments. Occidental College is conducting a study on the impact of Camp Skyhook, and initial findings show a 60% increase in content knowledge and a 30% increase in females interested in STEM subjects. Influenza threatens the health, functioning, and independence of older and medically vulnerable adults, particularly those in underserved communities. Yet only 30% of Black and Hispanic adults received a flu shot in the 2017-2018 season. DRIVE, which stands for Demonstrating Real Improvement in Value and Equity, was created in late 2018 as a collaboration between Santa Fe Pasteur, the National Minority Quality Forum, and the Center for Sustainable Health Care Quality and Equity to address the growing racial and ethnic disparities in influenza vaccination rates. Sanofi identified the areas with the most health disparity in flu immunization rates and created targeted advocacy strategies with trusted community leaders and healthcare professionals. In the past three flu seasons, DRIVE has created behavior change that has produced higher flu immunization rates and improved health outcomes for people living with chronic disease. In year one, the federally qualified health center saw a 31% year-over-year increase in flu immunization rates. This year, the program expanded to five additional health systems in the communities they serve across the United States. Tate and Lyle is committed to reducing greenhouse gas emissions from on-site energy consumption by 30% and in its value chain by 15% by 2030. Most greenhouse gas emissions from Tate and Lyle's value chain come from the growing and harvesting of corn. In November of 2018, Tate and Lyle partnered with Truterra to develop a sustainable agriculture program to connect farmers with cutting-edge technology to help target and measure their conservation practices acre by acre. Within the first three months, 310,000 acres were successfully enrolled into the pilot program with an impressive 74% grower retention rate. The program was extended in September 2019 to 1.5 million acres. This marked Tate and Lyle as the first corn wet miller to support a sustainable agriculture program that represents its global annual corn procurement volume. 
The first set of data from 148,000 acres of Midwest corn farms showed a 10% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions, 38% increase in nitrogen efficiency, and 6% reduction in topsoil erosion. The program continues to help farming communities make informed conservation decisions, avoid waste, and increase long-term profitability. Unibail Rodamco Westfield has accelerated its rollout of new solar panel installations in the United States to provide clean green power to its shopping centers, tenants, and the communities it serves. Westfield now powers seven of its U.S. shopping centers with solar energy, including Westfield Topanga and the village in Los Angeles, where the 2018 completion of a groundbreaking 15,000 solar panel array made it the largest of any retail destination in California. It can now generate enough clean, renewable energy to power the equivalent of 730 homes on an annual basis. The panels are projected to reduce CO2 emissions by over 4,900 metric tons in the first year alone. This year, Westfield completed three new solar panel installations in Silicon Valley, San Diego, and Paramus, New Jersey. This is in line with Westfield's commitment to achieve a 50% reduction of its carbon emissions by the year 2030 globally. More than 54% of the company's U.S. mall's energy use is now emission-free due to on-site solar, purchases of RECs, and green power. 